there any cons of synesthesia? Any drawbacks? Yeah. Well, I mean, there could be social embarrassment. I mean, when you say, oh, my A is the most beautiful pink I've ever seen. What does yours look like? You get withering looks from your, your, your schoolmates. Um, one girl was dragged to the principal's office when she said that the, when she saw her, when she kissed her boyfriend, she saw orange sherbet foam. And he thought, he thought you must be on drugs. And, we're, we're, you know, and of course, she didn't even smoke cigarettes. Mm -hmm. But So there can be those embarrassing episodes, which are not too bad. Um, when it's difficult is, uh, let's take James Warnerton, who tastes words. It's so when, he, when, he, when he hears himself speak, when he thinks of a word, when he hears other people speak, each word has a specific taste to it, and they're not all pleasant. So, for example, sausage, the word message tastes like sausage, which is okay. Uh, but jail tastes like cold, hard bacon. Hmm. And then Derek tastes like earwax. And James used to own a pub in London. And he, after a number of years, he, he simply had to, he's had to sell it and stop because the chatter of all the patrons left such a taste in his mouth that he lost an enormous amount of weight. He couldn't eat, etc. cetera. So in, there can be times when it is unpleasant, but almost always, I would say 90, 95 to 99% of the time, it's, it's a delightful trait to have and to lose it would be an odious state. Synesthesia would be, oh my God, it would be like, going blind to lose my synesthesia. No, I love it. I love it. The other time is when it goes in two directions. Normally, it's synesthesia is only a one-way street. So sound goes to sight, but sight doesn't go to sound. There are, again, a very small number of people in whom it does work in both directions, and then it becomes confusing. And so they, they lead a relatively restricted, quiet life. Clearly, 